this show actually is uh, uh, actually designed for the younger audience what i feel is uh, it has all the essence of uh, you know pulling the adults and uh, new uh, uh, audience to the star trek fans who's there who said that so the expectations for nickelodeon were nothing but short um they we knew with this property what was to be expected and i we knew the different parties that were involved the the star trek brand itself um goes back so far and so it wasn't just working with nickelodeon it was working with the star trek the star trek team the family the trust that had pushed it forward and it, it really there's nothing that's come out of that property that has not been top notch so it was do the best show that we've ever produced for nickelodeon this, at this time if let alone not in the world to achieve the cinematic approach that the star trek prodigy team was looking for it really meant that the team in bangalore had to step outside of their comfort zone um our micros animation team is very used to pushing the envelope and delivering the highest episodic quality animation in the world but this was something entirely different um and it required a change in the mindset it allowed our artists to kind of play in the sandbox and, and to push the boundaries. So I could not be prouder of the team and what they were able to achieve whether it be the lighting and the interaction with the characters or just the 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 field of view that the cameras are producing and the movement. Everyone that signed up on the team in Bangalore basically committed towards bringing their their level and expertise to the next game. I saw my chance so I took it. Nickelodeon was very clear uh, what they're looking for and uh the it's uh, nothing less than a movie so the digital cinematography was one thing uh, i have seen uh, very much applied to the show so we have uh, we, the starting itself uh, we made sure uh, you know uh, the lens and the camera which is used is going to be anamorphic so so the oval shape uh, bokeh and the light leaks all those things we have to replicate and so we made sure all the show like a cameraman and uh, like a cinematographer uh, we take each and every detail so you can see in the show itself like uh, you know the pockets and they, those are the things uh, which makes you look like you know from the real world we had to bring the heaviness to the camera movement in every shot and uh, this is not so easy and uh, uh, this is extraordinary Uh, and uh, we never ever used to do in in the in the other shows actually if you see the cameras it won't be jerky or it won't be moving any unless until if it is recorded don't move in any of this uh, uh, shot uh, mostly it will be heavy and the push will be mild and the pull and all the movement will be more like a cinematic camera and the style of the show is beautifully done from the nickelodeon side so they have provided us the color scripts which is uh, which they are looking for which is not less than a movie and uh, now our job was to make sure uh, with whatever available asset how to bring this short telling a storytelling based on their script and uh, definitely i think we were successful uh, getting that to that level on their light style which they are looking for i think uh, very proud of that uh this is a very high quality project so we had a lot of demands from the client and we we'll had to uh, set the pipeline in such a way that it uh, uh helps the creative team to achieve the level of uh, quality which the client is uh, expecting uh, we are using a gpu based uh, renderer so uh, keeping the files optimal is very essential because uh, we we'll have to uh, fit the render time within the uh, budget of 1 hour so we have a strong and robust uh, qc processing system for our asset team where af- after the each and every asset is uh, uh, completed they do a thorough qc check we have a lot of automated tools to do the qc process and we do submit it in the render farm to uh, do a thorough qc on whether it is fitting into the budget budgeted render time so that is how we were able to uh, manage the uh, rendering especially in this particular show that is the main key factors on uh, no uh, from the nickelodeon and, and improvising in every stage that, that's the three factors we want to tell from client uh, level of detail and uh, you know no compromise on quality and improvising in every without the leadership from the team at nickelodeon none of it would have been possible so we we are very very thankful for them allowing us to contribute and have the input to execute their vision <laughs>